In this video, you're going to learn a few pre-game visualizations you can use as an athlete. Hey there, I'm Eli Strawman, a performance coach and the founder of SuccessStartToThen.com. Now, pre-game visualizations really help you get into a better mindset going into a performance. And there are a few different kind of topics that we can focus on with these visualizations. One of them is going to be confidence. The other is going to be performing under pressure. And then the third one is going to be relaxation. Now what I'm going to do is break down all three of those into more detail for each of the visualizations. But before I do that, there are just a few main principles that I want to discuss that are very important when it comes to practicing visualization. The first principle is that you need to go into a lot of detail. The way that visualization is going to help you is by making it very real to you. Now, to make it real, you have to go into as much detail as you can. This is especially true if you're using the visualization to increase your confidence or to manage pressure during a performance. You have to go into as much detail. And by detail, what I mean is you need to create the scene, make it really real to you. You know, do you see your teammates? What color jersey are you wearing? What's the field or the court look like? Who are you playing? Go into as much detail as you can. The other principle is emotion. You have to bring emotion into your visualization. Whether it's visualizing to relax, build confidence, or perform under pressure, you need to bring emotion into it. The emotion means that once again it's real, but also what you're doing is you are making a strong connection between this scene and this emotion that I want to have. Now, the way that you can perform this visualization as a pregame visualization is either on the bus, in your house, in your dorm, wherever you're going to be before you get to the field or before you get to the court. Or you can also use this pregame visualization when you're at the field or court. You can do it you know, sitting on the bench by yourself in the locker room. You can do it when you're warming up. You can really do it anytime you want. But the main idea is you want to make sure that you have some space, you have some time where you can close your eyes and really not be disturbed for a few minutes as you do these visualizations. So the first one we're going to talk about is visualization for confidence. Visualization for confidence helps you, you know, build confidence going into a game. And you know that in order to perform your best, you need to be feeling confident. Now, the way that you do visualization for confidence as a pre-game visualization is that you want to visualize yourself performing certain skills. You want to see yourself performing them well, most importantly. So what you can do is you can get yourself into the scene. You can you know, create the scene, get, it, get as real as you can with it, go into detail, and then start to imagine yourself performing well. As you imagine yourself performing well, you want to make sure that you force yourself to feel confident. So this is the first time that you're really going to see emotion be involved. You have to get into a state of confidence because what you're doing, like I said earlier, is you are strengthening the connection between this scene, so the scene of you performing your skills, and feeling confident. Then what you're going to do is you're going to see yourself perform, and then when you're finished, so you've seen yourself do it successfully, you have to force yourself to feel successful. Now this is an interesting one because it forces you to ask yourself the question of how will I feel if I actually performed well in a game? You're going to feel very successful, you're going to feel excited and proud of yourself. Get into that state. So that's how you perform visualization for confidence. The next visualization is performing a pregame visualization to manage pressure. If you know that you are likely going to face pressure this game and there are specific situations that you've noticed recently lead to you feeling a lot of pressure. What you can do is you can perform a pregame visualization where you put yourself into that pressure filled situation. And what you want to do first is you want to feel all the normal emotions you do when you're feeling pressure. So you want to feel tense, you want to feel a little anxious, a little afraid of making a mistake. Then what you're going to do is you're going to flip it. You're going to switch it out for a feeling of confidence. And then just like with the confidence visualization, you're going to see yourself perform well in that situation, feel happy and successful afterwards. Now the third pregame visualization you can use is a visualization for relaxation. The reason that you want to get yourself relaxed is because it's one of the best solutions we have to anxiety going into a game. Because when you're anxious, number one, you're focused too much about the future. So you want to bring yourself more back into the present, which feeling more relaxed is going to do. But also what happens is when you're feeling anxious, your heart races, and you have all the symptoms of anxiety and nerves. So we want to help calm you down. What you can do with this visualization for relaxation is that you're not actually going to visualize yourself performing at all. You're going to visualize a completely different scene. A scene that makes you feel relaxed. I had one athlete I was working with who liked to visualize a waterfall because he said that when he visualized a waterfall, it helped him feel nice and calm and relaxed. I personally like visualizing the beach 
If, if I'm trying to feel relaxed, I love just visualizing walking on the beach. But the point is, you want to visualize a relaxing scene and then really work to get into that feeling and that state of being relaxed. And then you're going to carry that into the game and it's going to help you perform more relaxed if you're already performing very tense and anxious. So those are the three pre-game visualizations you can use as an athlete. You can use the visualization for confidence, for managing pressure, and then also for helping yourself relax. If you have any questions about this video or any other sports psychology topic, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. I put out new videos each day on sports psychology and mental training. Thank you for watching, and I wish you the best of success in all that you do.